Imagine that a document that looks like this lands on your desk. Do you want to read it? Do you want to wade through this wall of text? Documents that are unformatted can be intimidating to a reader. They can feel threatening. This is why document formatting is important. It helps the reader feel invited into the text, but of course it also helps the reader to navigate the text, to be able to find their way around from one section to the other. A few simple tools for making this document more readable and more reader friendly are easy to integrate into your use of Microsoft Word. First, we can add some white space. We can do this from the paragraph tools menu or from the layout menu. If I select everything, I can adjust the spacing before and after paragraphs simply by adding a certain number of points of space. So I've added 12 points of space after every paragraph and already this document is a little bit clearer. Suddenly you can see where the headings are. But those aren't very good headings. They're not very visible. They're not, um, they don't stand out to the reader. So let's work a little bit on our heading style. Under the Home tab, you'll find the Styles menu. This is where you can format your headings. So for instance, I can select the first one, and perhaps this is the document title. So I can format that as the title. Perhaps these next two are first level headings. So I can choose all of my first level headings and highlight them and just choose heading one. Perhaps I also have some second and even third level headings. Word makes this very easy by labeling all of these heading levels and allowing you to simply select them to format your document. However, maybe you don't like what this first level heading looks like or what the second level heading looks like. Well, it's very easy to change. Let's say, for instance, instead of um, this blue font, I want my font to be black. I want it to be bold, but I do want to use some color in the form of shading. Well, I can select my color. Maybe that's too bright. How about this? I can select my color and now my heading perhaps is much more visible. But you probably don't want to do that with every single heading that you've, that you've selected and um, chosen the style for. Well, Word makes it very easy to update them all at once. All you need to do is right click where it says heading one and say update heading one to match selection. Suddenly all of your first level headings will match that first one. You can do the same with all of your second level headings as well. Perhaps you want those bold and a little bit bigger. If we update heading two, they will all become um, bold and bigger. And then any future headings that you make following that pattern will take the new formatting that you have designated. So this helps make your document a little bit easier to navigate for the reader. But maybe we're not done here. Maybe we're realizing that there are a lot of sort of single line elements here. These are probably meant to be bullet points. Um, so let's format those as well, because that can also help a reader to navigate the document. So all you need to do, of course, is highlight those and go over to your paragraph tools box and click on the bullets. And suddenly we've got um, a document that is a little bit easier for a reader to work their way around. So I'm just going to go through this really quickly and add in the bullet points that are relevant. Um, that's a heading three. These are bullet points. So as you can see, this document is much different now from the, the initial document where we had absolutely no formatting. With this kind of formatting in our document, it makes it really easy for a reader to say, okay, I can't read all of this at once, it's very long, but I'm going to sit down and read the first three sections and then I'll take my coffee break. 
and then maybe I'll read a few more sections and then maybe I'll check some emails and then I'll read a few more sections after that. So it makes it easy for a reader to break it up, to navigate the document, to remember where they were um, if they have to leave the document for some reason um, and to come back and pick up where they've left off. Formatting is really important. Please don't skip this when you guys are working on your reports for this course. And please certainly don't skip it when you're working on reports in the workbook.